This is the Wapaka County Board of Supervisors meeting. Call this meeting to order the Wapaka County Board of Supervisors on April 19, 2016. Okay. Please press your white attendance button. We do have one supervisor on his way in. I, I, I pushed her to. Thank you. To come here. <laughs> So I think if you don't mind, we'll just wait a couple minutes. Jack, uh, Supervisor Jack Springs is on his way, but I'd, I'd like to have everybody present. <laughs> he just came off of Highway 10, but he didn't say where. <laughs> so I don't know right. Okay, we'll call this meeting back to order. If you would please press your white attendance buttons. And we've got everybody here. Jack, did you did press it your win? Yeah, I just reset it. So you it's still not going. It did go on, but it came off. Are you pressing the white one? Yep. There you go. We did three times. Okay. Yeah. This meeting and all other meetings of this board are open to the public. Proper notice has been posted and given to the press in accordance with Wisconsin statutes. So the students three may be aware of the time, place, and agenda of this meeting. And yes, I know it has been posted. If we please all stand for silent meditation and a pledge to the flag. <coughs> save a little time. Our first order of business is to approve the agenda. Do I have a motion? Supervisor Handrick and a second. Supervisor McClone. Any discussion? See no discussion, please vote. Then Dick, do you agree with the agenda? Yes, ma'am. Motion carries 27 to 0. <coughs> Approve the minutes of the previous meetings. Do I have a motion? So moved. Motion made by Supervisor Jonely. Do I have a second? Second by Supervisor Craig. Any discussion or corrections? Seeing none, please vote. <coughs> Last chance to vote. Motion carries 27 to 0. Steve to <laughs> get some signatures. Our next order of business at this time, I will take nominations from the floor for the county board chair position. Supervisor Murphy. 
I nominate Richard Keppen for County Board Chair. Okay, do I have any other nominations? Do I have any other nominations? I will call it one more time. Any other nominations from the floor? Seeing no further nominations, the nominations are now closed. County Board Chair elect will be Dick Keppen. Do I have a motion to close nominations? And a second to close? Supervisor Federwitz and Supervisor McClone moves to close the nominations. Our County Board Chair for this next board year, 2016-2018, is Dick Keppen. Dick, come forward, please. I nominate uh, one of the most famous people from New London ever, Gary Barrington, for vice chairman. Okay, you nominate Gary Barrington for vice chair. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Mr. Police, will the nominations be closed? There's a motion by Mr. Police for nominations to be closed. Mr. McClellan? Second, second. Please vote. Last chance to vote. Motion carries 26 to 0. Vice Chair Gary Barrington, you may take your seat. Joe McClellan for the Highway Committee.
there is a nomination for Mr. Police? Yes. Any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Yes, Pat Craig? I move nominations be closed and we cast a unanimous ballot for Bob Fleece. There's a motion by Pat Craig to cast a unanimous ballot for Bob Fleece. Mr. Murphy. Second. And a second. Please vote. Last chance to vote. Motion carries 27 to 0. I'd like to thank the county board for their support. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Now to succeed William Jonley. I would like to nominate William Jonley, Mr. Chairman. There's a, there's a motion by Mr. Penny to nominate Mr. Jonley. Yes, a second and a second. No, you don't need a second. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, any other nominations for Mr. Jonley's position? Any other nominations? Any other nominations? I would like to move the nominations be closed and we cast a unanimous ballot for William Jonley. Well, you heard the nom the, you heard the <coughs> by Mr. Penny to cast a unanimous ballot for Mr. <coughs> Jonley. There's second. Second by Mr. Federowitz. Please vote. Last chance to vote. Motion carries 27 to 0. Mr. Chairman, I also would like to thank the board for their support and uh, asks that we continue supporting the bond package so we can keep fixing the roads for Wapaka County. Thank you, Mr. Jolie. Now to succeed Don Asen on the Highway Committee. Supervisor Johnson. I nominate Dick Rowan. There's a motion to nominate, there's a nomination for Dick Rowan. Yes. I, I'll second that. No, we don't need one. Well, pardon me. <laughs> We only do this every two years. <laughs> any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Last time, any other nominations? Mr. Chairman, I make that motion to uh, close the nominations and cast the unanimous ballot for Mr. Rowan. There's a motion by Mr. Fedowitz to close, cast the unanimous ballot and close the uh, nominations. And Jack Spearing seconded. Please vote. Last chance to vote. Motion carries 27 to 0. Mr. Chairman. Oh, I'm sorry. Go Mr. Ahead, Chairman, Mr. I'd just like to thank the support of the county board for this position. I'm looking forward to a good future with Highway Committee. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rowan. Nominations to succeed Mr. McClone. Oh, <coughs> Mr. Zog. Uh, I would uh, nominate uh, Joe McClone for the Highway Department. The nomination for Mr. McClone. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Move that the nomination be closed. There's a motion by uh, there's a motion by Mr. Sorensen that nomination be closed. There's a second by Mr. Newman. Please vote. Last chance to vote. <coughs> motion carries 27 to 0. Mr. Captain? Yes, sir. I want to thank everyone. Uh, it's a privilege to be on on the uh, committee with the highway department. I've learned a lot from Bob Fleece and Bill Jonley, not to speak against anybody else, but Lee Muck and I really have spent some time with it and enjoy it. But the biggest privilege is to be on this county board. You are a great bunch of people. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McClone. To, see, to succeed, Mr. Lee Muck on the highway committee. Is there a nomination? Yes, Mr. Federwitz. Chairman, I would uh, probably uh, recommend uh, Lee Monk. So there's a uh, nomination for Lee Monk. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? 
Any other nominations? No other nominations. Will the nominations be closed? Mr. Questman? There is a motion by Mr. Quisman for the nominations to be closed and cast unanimous ballot. Uh, President Mr. Lee Muck. Second by Mr. Hendrick. Please vote. Last chance to vote. Motion carries 27 to 0. I also thank the board for the support, and uh, I know we're going to do a great job and have some great highways out there. With a new highway chairman that came from Marion, I know things be a lot better. Thank you. Uh, that brings up a point, Mr. Muck. My, uh, my spouse is playing bridge in Marion. She says, boy, the highway department's working in Marion. You can tell where that's working. <laughs> they did a good job yesterday. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm going to appoint the committee and committees, which will meet... Uh, Oh, I would say about 25 minutes downstairs. What's the room called? Um, the old print shop, room number three. <coughs> and the committee and committees are as following. Mr. Rowan, Mr. Jornley, Mr. Penny, Mr. Murphy, Ms. Craig, Mr. Barrington, and myself. Which Murphy? That's right. We have a lot of Murphys here. <laughs> Gerald Murphy. <clears throat> we need a personal motion on second on that. Okay, Mary, we will go on to ordinance, amend general code of ordinance, chapter two, the governing body. Well, for not having many changes, there were a lot of typos or changes. On your desk, um, I was gonna run more copies. However, if there's any further changes, I decided not to waste any more paper. You've already had enough. There should be the latest and greatest. Um, on the first section though, chapter two, the governing body under 8.0, it should be majority not in attendance. I did add a little T on yours, but we will get a, a clean copy later. Um, so if everybody has them in front of you, the next changes were on page four and five, and that is the order of business. Do you believe we discussed this before? Presentations of ordinances, presentations of resolutions, presentations of verbal reports, committees or departments, presentation of numbered written reports, that has changed. The order used to be reverse of that. Um, however, some people feel we should do our business first and then have the verbal reports. However, it would still be at the um, county board chair's discretion if he has somebody coming in for a oral presentation that needs to do it at the beginning of the meeting. Um, also, we have... I also added to chapter two on page 14, 13.4 standing committees. They are in our ordinance number one, but we felt it, it should be also referred to in the chapter two of the governing body. So we have listed all the standing committees there as well. Then we have our ethics code. And then under, um, oh, we changed, the statutes changed from $20,000 to $25,000 for purchases that need to be um, bid out or RFP. So on page eight, 6.4, no purchase of materials and or equipment, $25,000 or more over the budget amount can be made without approval of Pat County Board of Supervisors. And that follows through with 6.5, purchase of greater than 25,000 shall require the signatures of the County Board Chairperson and the County Clerk. And that also appears um, in 6.6. .6. Purchases under $25,000 are left to the department head responsible for the project. So that only change was it, w it went from $20,000 to $25,000 in the statute, so we brought it up to match that. 
That also shows up in your appendix A, where we listed out the county board chair's um, duties in the back of the book on page 31. We needed to amend um, number eight on page 31 as well, because the per diem will be $60 per meeting, and any regular committee meeting over four hours in length be paid an additional $30 and we deleted the not to exceed $120 in one day. That had been um, approved prior to this, but I wanted to make sure that it was consistent. And then also under number 10, purchase of greater than 25,000, and also on number 11 is purchases under 25,000, so that that follows through. The other thing that um, Legislative and Judicial Ethics, Safety, and Security Committee added was an Appendix B, um, this is County Board Supervisor's duties. It includes our mission statement. And I'm not going to read all of this for you, but this kind of tells you what is expected of a County Board Supervisor. And we thought that that would be appropriate to have in your uh, packet, and I would hope that all of you would read this. If there's any changes throughout that I haven't mentioned, please let me know. Um, and then we'll get you a final copy as well. Or if you have any questions right now, I'm not going to go through the rules <coughs> page by page unless you think we need to be fresher on that. Mary? Yes, Pat. Um, on page 33 under the Appendix B, um, Rule 13.3 is the Standing Committee's 13.4 oh, listed yeah. them, and you're going to change that? I have it changed in mine, so okay. I don't know if the new one I, I put on your desk had no. that. No, no, okay. No. Under that, the first paragraph of the bullet mark, taking part in the activities of, bo of the board and serving on one or more standing committees or special committees, boards, and commission, it will say enumerated in Chapter 1, Section 1.08 and 1.09, as appointed by the county board chairperson. That's where both all the county standing committees and boards and commissions are listed in your rule book number one. So I just want that to be consistent as well. The standing committees are 13.04, not 13.03 in chapter two. That's crossed out. If it, you should see that it's crossed out. Oh, okay. I've got a the one you sent and it's not crossed out. Oh, the one on your desk should be crossed out. Okay. Thank you. If you look at the one on your desk, that that has been eliminated. And that what you're correct. That was changed a few, couple of years ago. So is there a motion on second before we ask any questions? <laughs> Supervisor Cressman. There's a motion by Supervisor Quist for acceptance and a second by Supervisor Zoss. Questions or discussions? Any questions or discussion? Please hold. Last chance to vote. Motion carries 27 to 0 to adopt rules of the governing body, Chapter 2 of the <coughs> County Code of Ordinances. Okay, before we adjourn and have our photos taken up here, I want to welcome the two new supervisors, Mr. Nygaard and Mr. Whitman. What I didn't tell you two rookies <laughs> is that we would like you to come up here and tell a little bit about yourself. Mr. Whitman, you're first. <laughs> Hi, my name 
is Mike Whitman. I've been employed by We Energy now for 34 years. So I'm a new utility guy. I've been involved with a lot of activities. Uh, one thing I know of, we're measured every month when you get your utility bill and someone opens it up. Is there value added or not? So as a county board representative, I know we get that same kind of measurement once a year and we open up our tax bill. So I'm an advocate and really believe in bringing value to your constituents. Sometimes we make a mistake, but we gotta own up to it and re-rack and go forward. Um, I've been in Wapaka County now 15 years. And uh, my wife and I have two daughters, uh, Brooke and Sarah. I'm privileged to have three granddaughters and a uh, golden lab named Maggie. Um, <laughs> one of the reasons I you know, kind of got on the county board or tried to go for the county board, back in 19, I believe 92 or 94, I ran for the city of Appleton Alderman 8th District. And the guy I was replacing was like a 33 year veteran. His name was Gus Muller. He says, Gus, what's a rookie do? He gave me good advice and I think I'll use it here. Don't prove a lot. Be quiet for six months. Get to understand the staff that does the business. And uh, things will all come in natural place. So I'm pretty old when I, when I want to plant my flag and defend it. But I have respect for people's opinions. Uh, try to understand where they're coming point. Bottom line, what covers me is what's good for the constituents and what's good for the governing body. The other thing that motivated me was I bought a little property on Hatch Lake and I'm on my third year of rehabilitation, but every year I came in, they said, Mike, they changed the rules on us again. Oh my God, I said, can we just have something that goes for two years? But the folks that I work with, the zoning planning department and every department that I've worked with, you know, they were the badges that wore Wapaka County's badge very proud. And I think Dick says it. You really don't know what you have until you come up to the desk and have a smile, greet you, and uh, work through the difficulties and the challenges. So I'm always a firm believer. You're only as good as your people on the front desk. So if they know what to expect, they got the tools to be successful, the badge of Wapaka County will be worth proud. So. I'm looking forward to it. Um, we got a lot to learn, but that's the part of uh, joining the new team is being the rookie. And hopefully, I don't have to carry the water bucket too long. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So side note of all, Mike, uh, we met with the two new supervisors, Mary and I, and, and uh, Mandy the other day, and Heidi, and, and uh, Mike happened to come in a bit late. He apologized, apologized, he said he had a gas problem. I said, I'm sorry it's been going around. <laughs> I didn't know we worked for We Energies. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Mr. Chairman? Over here. Um, something Mike shared with me is that his father uh, was on the county board, correct? Bob Whitman? No, not there. Not Bob. I thought, oh. Yeah, it's Bob Whitman, but not that Not one. that Bob. Oh, oh, yeah. I wondered why you hadn't shared that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Jim Nygaard. I've been a lifelong resident of the town of Scandinavia, and uh, I'm blessed to live on a family farm that's been in our family since about the Civil War. I've been active in uh, different organizations in Wapaka County, and, and I know a few people in the room, and uh, I farm, uh, sold my cows five years ago. I'm farming just under 500 acres, and uh, my wife Nancy is a kitchen designer, and uh, she has two kids. Uh, we've been married about eight years. I look forward to doing what I can, and hopefully I bring something of value to the discussions. I know there's two sides, sometimes three sides or more to every story, and they all are worth hearing. And I, I hope to add something of, uh, of uh, discernment and, and uh, something of value that, that will help us all make good decisions and not waste your time with a lot of 
time-wasting talk at a meeting. So <laughs> thank you very much, and I look forward to, to uh, getting to know you all better, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Nygaard. Brad, we're happy to have both of you join our team here. So when we adjourn, we're going to meet up here, Mary, are we? Yes. Okay. Do our picture taking around here again like we always do. And we'll adjourn until tomorrow at uh, 9.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Please note that, that the meeting tomorrow at 9.30 because we have a meeting prior to that with Finance, HR, and Lakeview. So just make a note that it will be 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. Is there a motion for adjournment? Motion by Mr. Dodd and a second by Mr. Cushman. Press your buttons, please. <coughs> Last chance to vote. Motion carries 27 to 0. Meeting is adjourned. Thank <laughs> you.